here we go. All right, welcome to Self Made. Um, this is, I don't even know what episode. Um, I'm supposed to keep track of the episodes, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, but I literally enter every time with this, but it's okay. Um, today I have an amazing and like personally an important person to me come on to the show now. Um, it's been a minute. We've talked about it over like the years and coming in, you know, um, but I was in Tennessee at the time, but now I'm back and I was like, we started chatting. I was like, boy, let me get my boy in. I got to, I was like, period point blank. So here he is now. And, um, what's your name, fam? Name Bustin' Down Slim. Uh, go on. All right. All right. Where did you, where did that come from? Where did that originate? Uh, that came from my brother who passed away when she was on Live Dang, on Live Bustin'. He, uh, he, he used to do music a long time before me, and I didn't even know for real until probably like months, after, months before he passed. And then, you know, I was like, what well, better way to, you know, carry his legacy on, bring it to my name, and just go hard for him. You know? I feel you. I fuck with that shit. All right, all right. What was, what was a, around that time? You know what I mean? Like, when was... When would this take place? Like when, you know, like with. Let me get the right words. My bad. <laughs> with all that transpiring, do you know what time it clicked? Like you, like, oh yeah, I'm carrying that shit. I mean, for real, for real. I started doing music probably around like 2016. Right, you know, right. my, my brother passed away two years after that. So like the name, that name didn't really come on until after he passed, but I was already doing music before then. And then that's when you like, ooh. I was like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta switch it up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I gotta change the game, yeah. get the shits. All right. Um, where were you born? I was born here at Akron High. Hey. Off of Princeton and Thor. All right, my boy, same, same, same. Um, what was, Was he listening to the same music you were listening to, or was it a different? Hell, no. he was listening to. He was definitely listening to different people. <laughs> I mean, he was he was from the Pittsburgh area, so he was listening to dudes like Jimmy Wapo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, okay. Okay. A uh, different like, different breed, like. Yeah, like he was listening to uh, just a lot of more. You know, I want to say people in that area, but I'm pretty sure he was listening to things like Gucci Steel and stuff like that. I was still listening to Gucci Steel, but like. I'm pretty sure he was, you know, listening to a whole bunch of people. Was it... Mm-hmm. I'm curious, like, when you first, like, was getting into this shit, like, you know, your origin stories, I'd like to say, yeah. was it like, was it like an underground type feel? What was it like, when you first sat down, grabbed a pen, you know, or, you know, listened to your own track, what was, what was the feel? What was... What were you rapping? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like when I first really started doing it, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know, nobody wants to rap and just be like, all right, I want to rap and, you know, just forever just stay in the shadows. No, nah, people want to rap and, you know, get somewhere with it. So, like, when I first started doing it, I was like, I don't try to be big than fucking Drake. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Oh, God. I hear you. Yeah, like, you always got to aim dumb high. Even if you come up short and still up there, so Very I was trying to, I'm, I'm trying to be the best able to do this. It's gonna take some time, I'm good. Yeah, we got nothing but time, family, oh God. Well, you say Drake, is he, is he someone, like you say, you said shoot for the highest, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, is he someone you look up to, is he, cause like, I'm, I'm just wondering, cause like. I definitely gotta be Lil Wayne. Oh, I was good, I was good, I was good, yeah, yeah. His his one song he just dropped the other day was five. Yeah, I still fuck with one. Oh mm, god. I um I was wondering that because I know somewhat of like the music you listen to, so I was wondering who you would like you look up to. Now like the real question is when it comes down to it, you really can't say like who the best is, but like if you were listening to people, you know what I mean? Like your top three people who would be on your playlist, like. I'm top three on my playlist right now. That was like, best way to put it, like top three on your playlist. Yeah, like, it had to be, and this, this the order too, it had to be Wayne, Youngboy, and Polo G. 
strategizing your planning have you came to a point in your plan you were like I'm gonna switch something or like I'm gonna go this way or that way like right now have you had to make that decision like all right I'm gonna step this way because this is something like have you ever had that like yeah I get what you mean it's like for instance, the most profitable genre to do is pop, you know what I'm saying? And I've always felt like I'm very versatile when it comes to my music. So like, it's been times where I've stepped in the studio and like, all right, I wanna see if I can try to fuck with a pop track or if I can try to make a pop track. But like, I, I mean, honestly, I feel like I could do damn near anything, so. You you, you good, you, you was like a chameleon, all right, yeah, say less. Whatever, whatever I'm feeling that day, that's what I go and work on. All right. I've. Most people will, I want to say like, old dogs, you know, they just yeah. stick to the same genres, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I guess nowadays you have to be able to switch the genres, whatever you want to do, just to, you know? Yeah. Oh my God. I, I always say like, when I first jumped into the genre, I, I didn't go for like rapping. I went for like, I don't know, storytelling. Yeah. Like, on some real shit. And now like, I want to say like I'm going towards like a rust feel. Okay. Oh God. Um, what are the genres going back to that? <laughs> Is it different from what you listen to? Oh, uh, cause like whatever you rap or whatever you put now, are you listening to that? You know when you. See, that, that's the thing though. Like. <laughs> like right? Just like with Gary, bro. Like we listen to so many different type of genres in one day, you know what I'm saying? Like, we could listen to like, anywhere from Michael Jackson to fucking, who's somebody underground as hell? Or back back in the day, back when Lil Uzi was still like, still Uzi blasting Uzi. the fuck off, we could listen to Michael Jackson in the fucking morning and they bumping Lil Uzi by the time when niggas about to go out. Mm -hmm. Got you, so got it's you. a whole bunch Mom. of shit that, you know? All right, so, right now with, the growing and like your origin story and like where you are now has it changed like or is it is it different like have you you know what i mean yeah. like i've changed from listening to like just pnb rock to listening to, to rock wave you know what i mean like that's yeah, yeah, yeah. a that's a flip i know hell yeah when i first started really writing it was like i want to say like that when I first really started writing, when I first really wanted to get serious with music, it was like 2016. I had just got the conduct or whatever. Gosh, I right. was listening to I was listening to A Boogie, heavy as fuck. And you I, you would thought I was trying to be that man, like. Bro, that. that and then mm -hmm. like, for instance, so like when I first started taking it serious was 2016, bro. I ain't even dropped my first track till like 2019. So in that three years time period, hell yeah, I changed. I changed <laughs> completely, like. Night and day type shit. Hell yeah, night and day type shit. Um, we was chatting, we was chatting earlier about almost, almost didn't get you here. Almost didn't get you here, so I was gonna be mad. <laughs> you gotta go to the studio after this. Yeah, um, young stuff. Work don't ever stop. What is? I don't even know. That's some some personal business, you know what I mean? But like, is your is your like your schedule? Is it like you you work in studio? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. is it? It's yeah. just like you you double working. Hell yeah, I'm gonna keep it down for like uh any any rapper that tell you they don't got no job, you know what I'm saying, or they don't wanna get a job before they before they uh start making music is a damn fool. Like it takes money to make money, so like bro, like if you really wanna do something with this shit, you gotta put money into this shit. No matter mm -hmm. no matter what you do on the side, whether you got a job or you out there, you know selling a couple grams no matter what you do. do you gotta put money yeah, in this so yeah you gotta have a little style so you can't just do straight music think you about to just you know push to the top it don't work like that 
um, my other question. How do you write? Because so I've asked every artist, every, every artist, how do you write? Like, what, what is, is there a routine? Is there a feel? Is there like, oh, something pops in your head like, oh, I gotta jot this shit down. You know what I mean? I get like, remember how like I, I had just said like, like in 2016, I, when I first started really taking it serious compared to now, like a lot of shit didn't happen in a nigga's life. So like a lot of shit changed. Like it's to the point now I can freestyle a whole song if I really had to. Like if I go to the booth with nothing, nothing in my notes, I just tell bro play the beat and then just get to work off the air, off the head. I, I still write, you know what I'm saying? It depends on the song. Like, if I make like a little, I want to say like a, a pain song, talking about, you know, people who have passed away beforehand or just some shit that I, you know what I'm saying? That, what you feel? Yeah, what I'm feeling about, I'll probably write it. But like, if it's like an upbeat, I'm on that bullshit, like I'm, I'm rowdy, rowdy, I'm hype, I can, I can, bro, I, I see this. <laughs> I, I, I don't need to write that. All right. Like, yeah. What? What is, you said multiple different different moves, and I was gonna reach on that, but I didn't even know he was already there. <laughs> That's crazy, because you know, it came up in one of the questions. So like, you say, you know, hype shit, you know, pain shit, you know. What is your usual gather? Like, what is your usual path you take when you come into the booth or is it the same like move when you go at a project or at a single or like at a feature like, like when you say like you mean like, like what's my mood or like how do I start off writing songs or something okay so honestly yeah with how you with how you start off writing a song because you could say you said you can go in and write different moods, yeah. but what is your like? You know, hey, I can write this shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, like that. Oh, that's an easy. That's a that's a home run right there. Like, yeah. I can just walk that path. Yeah, I mean, your brother, obviously, man, your, your brother, he can tell me a lot of shit, bro. Like, if I hear a beat, I'll just start humming it out. Like, if I catch it, it depends on the type of melody I catch off of. It. Like, if it's a upbeat melody, then you know what I'm saying? I can just go ahead with that. But if it's like a smoother melody and I'm making like a pain or a love type song, then that's really just how I go about it. But it's that hum. Once I hear a beat, I gotta start humming to it. Sometimes when you hear a beat, you just start one word coming your head instantly and that's just how that shit goes. Alright, alright. Yeah. Most people most people that I've interviewed and that I talked to and even that like interviews that I, I couldn't record, they even said like they've always had like a typical mood or like, you know, they went into the genre. I've yeah. never heard an artist say like, they listen to the genre, you know? Yeah. They listen to the genre, let the genre, you know, talk to them. You know what I mean? You feel it like that's out this world type shit. <laughs> like, damn. Um, where, where are you now? What are you working on? Yeah. You know what I mean? And where are you, where you wanna go? Um, right now, I'm just, I'm at the point where I'm, I'm just stacking up my catalog right now, like, I haven't even dropped in a hot second, but I just, uh, one of my, uh, one of my close friends of mine, I really work with down there almost every day, man, came back, me and him, me and him signed to the same label, which is called BBR. Ooh, okay, okay, congratulations on that, bro. That's a, that's some love, I'm gonna bro. Hot too, bro. We coming up hot. We just, uh, me and him just dropped a song called Walk Em Down. That shit got like 10,200 streams on Spotify in like a month and some change. Month and some? Yeah, we about to shoot a video to that. So that's gonna be coming real soon. And I ain't gonna lie, me and him are getting hella feedback. So it's like, we thinking like, bro, we might just drop a joint tape, get that out the way. Cause I don't got no big projects yet. Bro. Yeah. It's just been like single, single, like a, a four song EP, single, single. I thought it was really bad, but I need to start, you know, Actually, really get this ball rolling for real fast. Hey, you see your ball rolling. Just yeah. give it a little kick. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, oh, God, it's bro. Oh, God, kick. bro. Because you got the strip. You just like, bitch, boulder. Like, <laughs> like, 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 you see the snowball. Yeah, like, like, just let that shit fall down the hill. Because, like, that's, bro, you got me hyped. Like, you got my heart racing. You feel me? Like, 
fight for that shit. You already been fighting, you know what I mean? And hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Way, you said joint tape, and I was. This was in the uh, in the questions mm-hmm. with features. Like, do you do you do you do features? Do you do you collab on songs like a joint song? Do you um, do you go stride like? Can you? When it comes to like features, for real, for real, just because like like the, the, a lot of the people that I'm around now, like I when I first started doing music it was just me. Now like I'm with a legit team and like everybody's invested. So like. It's a sort of chain of command I gotta go through when I do features, but I'm always open to features with every, any and whoever, bro. It just gotta get approved to my people. And once it's approved to my people, we just gotta go in the booth and get shit going. That's, that's hey, all right, all right, that's love, that's love. Um, wait. Nah, I ghost right, I, I don't ghost right, I just I, I do my own shit. So, let's I, I literally, like, asked for some new questions. Ooh. Drake. Do you Do you ever go in the booth and it's like, alright, this is some Drake shit? You know what I mean? Like, or like, do you ever be like, alright, I wanna write some Drake shit? Or like, do you ever try to go as a flow with him or do you just like just see how he moves as in like a businessman and how he how he like moves is like what you're trying to copy. No, honestly bro, I feel like I'm gonna give the best advice any artist can ever give another artist, bro. When I go in the booth, bro, I literally don't even think about another artist. In my mind when I'm in the booth and I'm in the studio, even if I'm doing a song with another artist, I literally think when I'm in the booth that I'm the only artist out here in the room. So I don't get this dude. When I say there's no competition, I'm not saying it on like on a cocky level, bro. It's just like once you get to that point where you start comparing yourself to other people, bro, you limit yourself. You're limiting anything you can do, any way you can go, whether it's up or down. You're limiting, you're limiting yourself. So like I don't know, I can't. I just really, I really try not to think about nobody else when I'm on the beat, bro. I just think about I'm selfish as fuck when I'm in there. Me myself, I, I don't think about nothing else. All right, all right. That's some good advice. I'm gonna put that in my mind. That's some, For that's real, some real bro. shit, bro. You cannot um, compare yourself to nobody. Mm-hmm. My my last, um, I guess, final question I like to ask. You already gave it, but I'm kind of mad because I didn't even ask it. <laughs> <laughs> if you could give another advice <laughs> <laughs> to the next generation coming up, um, avenue. You know, tips, tricks, you know, survival back. <laughs> <laughs> the best advice to give, because I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody hears this all the time. Well, always be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't try to be different, be yourself. You was already made different. You did that? So, like, why try to be different when everybody else is already trying to be different? At that point, you being like everybody else. Be yourself. You already genetically made to be different, like, literally. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't never been no science motherfucker in school, but like, that's just that's obvious as hell. You genetic, you are genetically made different, so. Why I try to be yourself? Be your, it's gonna turn out different already. That's why I said, that's how, that's why I said I think like that when I go in the booth, but I just, I don't think about shit. Like, right. for instance, I'm about to go in the booth and, and lay down the lemon pepper freestyle. Mm-hmm. Drake did that already. It's a couple artists in the room did that already, but I don't do for because I ain't, in my mind, I ain't heard it. 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 That's like, I'm trying to tell you, that's the best way to think about shit. Mm-hmm. You know, with the best turnout. I'm just thinking about you, hear your sound. I'm God. All right, not last question. Not <laughs> last question. Coming, bro. All right, all right, it's like not last question. Because, because what, was, what was your first release? My first release was called Change Me. That was, I released that May 4th, 2019. Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah. Still bumping, bro. Yeah. Spotify definitely, I feel like it's my favorite platform. At least I get the I get the most, you know, views and, and, and just you know feedback on there. So I love dropping on Spotify, and I think Change Me got like two thousand three hundred some plays, and the next song after that got like three thousand. The next song after that got another two, and 
biggest song I got on my page is, is Bustin' Down. I got like 6,000 plays. Dang, alright, alright, family. Um, you know, pound that letter slowly but surely, bro. Hey, that's all you can do is just keep it. Keep, keep creating, keep producing. What, who have you, honestly, to put the question right, your journey, where has your journey taken you? Like, where does your journey start? Where you are now? Where are you at now? Do you feel me? Like, like my journey is taking me all over the place. I feel like it, it started with basketball. That's how I ended up where I was in college and whatnot. And then, you know, came back home here. That's where I met your brother Gary, who's like a brother to me. That's why you like a brother to me. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, like, my journey has led me all over the place, bro. You know what I'm saying? Started here, went to BC, then went up to college, then came back here. You know what I'm saying? I just hope this shit leave me in California at the top. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah, literally chilling with my toes in the sand. <laughs> For real, feed up kids that don't know what the hell a struggle is. Yeah, so. God, bro, they ain't gotta worry about money no more. No, we don't, we don't get there, man. For sure. Oh God, bro. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I was, I was talking to Gary the other day, man. We gonna be up in that shit, man. Yeah, we gonna be up in that shit, bro. Whole little compound, nice and nice. Like, period. Like, like, he, really, he, he really, he really like my fucking mentor, like, bro. Me and him cannot talk for two months. Like, and then he will call me and he just we'll just hop in combo like niggas just talking yesterday. Like, bro, like, bro, bro, like, bro, 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 I was so pissed, bro, because I'm like, damn, who the fuck I'm supposed to look up to? Who the fuck I'm God, I was like, fool, is you dumb, bro? I picked Gary here for a reason, bro. Like, that's who, that's the dead ass who I look up to, bro. Oh, God. It's not nobody famous, it's, bro. I, you know what I'm saying? It's him. Mm-hmm. Real shit. He, uh, I even told him when, like, I got my first job, I was like, bro, I couldn't have got that shit without him, bro. Like, this first, this first house, bro, yeah. couldn't get that shit without him, bro. It's like, I remember everything nigga taught me. I moved my money right, got that shit. I nigga been a dad. Bro, <laughs> bro been a dad and now is a dad. For real, bro. Bro, oh God. Well, it has been just a blessing, just in general, sitting down and chatting with each other. Really, we don't have to we have to do this outside of the camera because we don't want to. For sure. I'm trying to come back on here whenever, whenever I do hours and if you don't get dead. Say less, my boy. Cause yeah. I'm 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 starting up. At first, I didn't. I was, I was getting here. I was moving to places, and now I'm actually able to actually record and do everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. I gotta worry about people being in my business and a third. I can just do my interviews and shit. And that's what I really want to do. Most people like the shits. Yeah. So, yeah. hey, like and subscribe. I need you to send me all your links so it's on the sure. video. Um, this will be up Tuesday. Um, Thank you guys. Make sure you guys go support my boy and my family because you guys are my family, all right? My name Bustin' Down Slim, B U S S E M D W L on Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Title, all that major, all that major mm-hmm. shit. About to drop a video real soon coming on YouTube. Like I said earlier, I'm with a label called BBR Big Buff Records. We're coming, mm-hmm. coming strong. Full man. steam ahead. Yo. No, I mean, alright, we gonna catch you guys later. Ah, peace. Gang, gang, my boy.